Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this week's video I wanted to do a three ways to wear video. I've actually done a video about three ways to wear a shirt already in the past and now I thought why not do one for the Burberry coat. This was actually not my idea. I had a lovely viewer comment on one of my videos asking for like styling tips or advice how I would style the Burberry coat. So I thought, all right, why not do three ways to wear with a camel winter coat? And that is exactly what I did. If you like the video, please do leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would be very, very grateful. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so for outfit number one, I actually wanted to do something that was in like the brownish color scheme. Because the coat is in this lovely camel tone, I thought pairing it with different kinds of brown would look very, very nice. For my upper part, I actually went with this lovely, lovely dark chocolate brown jumper that I got from Cos a while back. And it's just a simple turtleneck, long sleeved. It is like a thin, thin kind of wool, which makes it very, very nice and easy to wear and i really really loved it against the camel color of the coat so this was what i wore on top i actually combined the dark brown jumper with this beautiful camel toed skirt from max mara i love the skirt i wear it so so often it's one of my favorite clothing items that i got in my wardrobe and i love pairing it with just simple turtlenecks because i think it looks really really cute and I really like it with the camel tone of the coat. It is a little longer in the back, as you might be able to tell, and in the front it has a few cute pleats, but overall it's just this really lovely shape. And um, I would want to have this skirt in every color possible, but yeah, I just have it in this beautiful camel tone. <laughs> so for shoes, I actually went with my Carmina shoes. I also did a video on these if you want to check them out, but I love these shoes. I think they're so, 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 so gorgeous. I don't know if there's a shoe pair out there that I love more than these, but uh, these are basically perfect, I think, look-wise. So it's got this beautiful smooth leather on the bottom and the suede dark brown material on the top. And I do have to say, I really, really love them. Do check out the video if you want any further information on these shoes but I can highly recommend them and I thought they looked so so cute with the outfit. I also went for just a plain pair of dark brown tights to complete the look. I got mine from Falke and also like a little bit of jewellery so this is like a Soma necklace, this is a Missouri ring that I'm wearing and I've got just a simple pair of hoops. I think they are from Oliver Bonus, if I remember right. But yeah, that's just a few little accessories to complete the look. And that's look number one all done. Okay, for look number two, I actually decided on wearing this black dress that I'm wearing right now. I wanted to go for an all black outfit because the buttons on the coat are also black, so I thought that would look very, very cool. And I really like how this outfit turned out. So, as you are seeing in the clips right now, I'm wearing like this dress and it's, I would say mid-length. It's, it's not a mini dress. It is actually from Lily Silk and I really like it. It's a cashmere dress. It feels amazing to wear. It's got a turtleneck, my favorite kind of neckline. And I actually paired it with the Gucci belt. So in my last video, I was actually talking about this beautiful belt that I got for Christmas and I thought it went very very nicely because you have the camel from the jacket actually reappear in this belt and that I think really tied in the look to be honest also the gold buckle went with all of the gold jewelry I went for the same gold jewelry like the first outfit that I put together and yeah this was just a very very simple look I also decided on wearing a pair of black tights because we've got winter so it's pretty cold outside and for shoes, I'm not sure if you can see it. For shoes, I just went with like a simple pair of black heeled boots and they've got a point in front and I thought they would go very, very nicely. Because of the point, they actually elongate my legs quite nicely and I've got short legs, so I like to go for pointed shoes. 
and they have a very very comfortable heel so I really like them for just everyday wear and I thought they went very well with the overall look that I did. For the third look, I actually decided on wearing a white blouse. This one is a very, very nice blouse. It's from Lily Silk and it's a little off-white, which I think is incredibly nice with like the camel shades because it's not like a very, very harsh white, but rather soft one and also a little more yellowish. So I think it complemented the camel color of the coat really nicely. I also decided to pair the blouse with a blazer which is also camel coloured. This one's actually from Suit Studio which I don't think they do anymore but yeah just combine like a normal camel blazer with the white blouse and you're good to go and it's also got like the black buttons and light lining and I do have to say I think against the white of the blouse it looks very nice. On my bottom half, I went with these cute black shorts, which I also wear quite a lot. They're from Holland Cooper, one of my favorite shorts. Well, my only pair of shorts, but it is my favorite pair of shorts, therefore. And I really like the gold detailing on it, and they're just very comfortable to wear, 100% wool. I think really nice shape on me and they're just so so easy to wear. So I just tucked the white blouse into the shorts and put the blazer over top and I think it looked really really cute. I actually also went for a black pair of tights and the same shoes that I showed you for my last look and then I just popped the coat over top. I actually decided on wearing it open. I mean if it's really cold outside, obviously I'm closing it, but if you want to showcase your outfit, you can just leave it open, tie it in the back, the belt of the coat, and then you can see everything that you're wearing, as well as the coat. You can also like button it up just the low part of the coat and tie the belt around and just leave the top part open that I did with the first outfit that you saw. But if it's really cold, I just button up. The whole, the whole coat and run around like that so I'm not always wearing my coat open if you if you were like why is she wearing her coat open in winter I don't well not all the time so. <laughs> but if I want to showcase my outfit I would wear it open all right guys so this was my video I really really hope you enjoyed it I actually had fun creating it I think these three ways to wear videos are always quite nice because you get a new perspective and play around with your clothes and put together outfit, get a little bit more creative. So I really enjoy doing them. If you liked the video, do leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would be very grateful. I hope you're gonna have a lovely week and I hope you got a little bit inspired by my video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you for next week's video. Goodbye.